Now we want to graph a linear inequality in two variables. The procedure for doing this to graph a linear inequality in the plane. First we're going to change the inequality symbol to equal and graph the boundary as a dotted line. It's important that it's a dotted line. Then we select a point not on the boundary. Usually we use the coordinates 0, 0. We test these coordinates in the original inequality. If it's true, then we're going to shade that half plane. Otherwise, we're going to shade the opposite half plane. If the original inequality includes equal as our third step, we're going to redo your dotted boundary as a solid line. Let's look at some examples. If we want to graph the inequality 2x plus 3y minus 6 greater than or equal to 0, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this as an equation. Notice the greater than or equal to becomes equal. Let's add 6 to both sides of this equation. 2x plus 3y will equal 6. Let's graph this using the intercept method. If we put 0 in for x, we can find the value of y. So if 3y equals 6, then y equals 2. So we have x equals 0 and y equals 2. That's where it crosses the y-axis. How about if we now put in 0 for y and find the x value? So 2x equals 6 x equals 3, when y equals 0. So we have 3, 0. So the first thing is we graph the boundary as a dotted line. The second thing we want to do, we have a half plane above this line or the half plane below this line. We have to determine which of these is correct. So let's select a point not on the boundary. In this case I'm going to select 0, 0 and I'm going to substitute each of these coordinates into the original inequality. So I have 2 times the x value plus 3 times the y value minus 6 greater than or equal to 0. Notice how convenient these numbers are. 2 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0. So we're left with negative 6 greater than or equal to 0. You'll notice that this is a false statement. Therefore, this point is not in the correct half plane. Therefore, the correct half plane will have to be the other half plane, which will be above the line. Finally, we want to decide whether the boundary is a solid or line or a dotted line, notice in the original inequality we have the equal sign. Therefore we change our dotted line into a solid line. Now let's consider x plus 2y less than 0. Once again our first step is let's work with the equation, change the inequality to equal so that we can find the boundary. In this particular case, how about if I subtract x from both sides and solve for y? Divide both sides by 2, so y equals negative 1 half x. So let me so select a couple values of x and figure out the corresponding y value. Let me let x equal 0. If I put 0 in for here, negative 1 half times 0, that gives me 0. Let's try the value of 2. I like 2 because if you take negative 1 half times 2, notice the 2's cancel, and we're left with 1. So we're left with negative 1 as our y value. So if we plot 0, 0, we plot 2, negative 1. Again, we draw a dotted line, the boundary. Now we have to decide, is it the upper half plane or the lower half plane? We can't use 0, 0. How about if I select a point way out here? I'll select a point 2, 2. So I go back to the original inequality, 2 in for x, 2 in for y. So, 2 plus 4 less than 0, 6 less than 0. Once again, this is a false inequality, therefore this is the wrong half plane. So the half plane we want is the one below. Our third step, we look at the inequality. It does not contain equal, so this is the final graph with a dotted border. As a last example, let's graph line y less than 10, and this will be a half plane. So the first thing we do is we consider y equal to 10. If you recall, hey, horizontal as y equals, this is a horizontal line, y equal 10. So we'll draw the dotted line there. The second thing we want to do is decide is it above this, the half plane above or the half plane below. Let's select a point. How about if we select 0, 0? So if I put x equals 0 and y equals 0, now this doesn't include an x, but that's okay. 
So we have y, 0, less than 10. 0 less than 10 is a true statement. So this is in the correct half plane. So that means we shade everything below the boundary for our solution. Lastly, we go back and look. Does this include an equal in it? No, therefore this is the final solution.